Come on guys, this is really scary about my new amplifier. It's the EP4000. Here I've got a voltmeter connected directly to the terminals. If you're using a speaker, when you do the math calculations in mini, you have to decide whether you're using a 4 ohm or an 8 ohm speaker. Right, this is a 50 hertz sine wave. Just watch the numbers. Oh, my screen's a little bit broken, that first one's meant to be a zero. Right, so here, that, that's sort of just under quarter volume, I'm getting 41 volts. Right, now let, let's, let's crank it up to the max. The amp starts clipping at about 160 volts. Wow, how many can I get? Ah, fucking hell, that's almost 190 volts. That's, that's more than in some houses out of the wall socket. If you're living in America, and I don't know what your wall socket is, about 130 volts, I, I'm not too sure what it is, but this amp can deliver more power than a wall socket. Now, 160 volts, right, that's a lot of voltage. But how much power am I actually getting from an amplifier if I used an 8 ohm or a 4 ohm speaker? Well, let's choose an 8 ohm speaker to start with. Let's take the equation V equals IR. That's voltage equals current times resistance. If you rearrange it, because I don't know what the amperage is, because I didn't measure it, so I need the amperage equals V over R, voltage over resistance. That's easy enough to do. 160 was my voltage. Divided by, let's choose an 8 ohm speaker, divided by 8, giving me 20. So there's 20 amps. Now the power, to find the power, you've got to do IV equals power, current times voltage equals power. So in that case, I just do it 20 amps times by 160, which gives me 3,200 watts. So that is the maximum power that I could give an 8 ohm speaker bridged on my amplifier up there. That's just before it clips. It clips at about 161 volts AC. Now with a 4 ohm speaker, you, have, you do it differently. For a 4 ohm speaker, you have I equals V over R, so you make R 4 instead of 8. So let's take uh, 160, which is when it clipped, divided by 4 this time, 40 amps. 40 amps times 160. 6,400 watts. Now in real life, this wouldn't be the power that I'd get because as you start applying a speaker, the, res the, the res resistance of the speaker actually changes depending on what frequency is going through it, everything like that. So that's not a real life situation. This is just a physical situation if the resistance stayed constant in the speaker, whereas it doesn't in real life. Uh, but that's still a fucking hell of a lot of power to be getting on the, on the table there.